Hello everyone, this is Pastor Akengwade Fashola. I welcome you to this program by the special grace of God. Today I will continue my teaching on Go Forward. And today is going to be part two. I was driving yesterday on the highway and it's just a one-way uh, road. And uh, there was no way for me to turn back in despite the heavy traffic that we have. And it occurred to me today that I'll be talking about going forward. So today I have two principles for you. Number one, if you must go forward, you have to engage in sowing. Engage in sowing. Number two, you have to overcome opposition. The Lord bless you as you listen in Jesus' name. Amen. So this year is a year of sowing. Don't joke with your seed. And uh, we pick um, the text, Genesis 26, verses 12 to 14. He said, Then Isaac sowed in the land, and he received in the same year an hundredfold. The Lord blessed him. And the man was great, went forward, grew until he became very great. He had possession of flocks and possession of herds, and great store of servants. And the Philistine envied him. Genesis 26, verses 12 to 14. Two things that you must do. You must learn to sow your seed this year. Two boys were living with their grandpa. And uh, one of them found a snake. So he brought it. And the grandpa was happy. He said, oh, God bless you. Very big snail. And the second boy, because he saw that the grandpa was happy, also said, oh, I will go and tell grandpa. I'm going to deceive him that I also found snake. So he said, oh, grandpa, I found a snake. And the grandpa said, oh, you found a snake? He said, yes, okay, go, bring it. And he said, oh, grandpa, I have no snake. He said, grandpa, said, okay, go with your lie. He said, God bless your lies. So God will not bless nothing. He's going to bless your seed. The Bible says in Genesis 8.22, Genesis 8.22, why the earth remained, seed time and harvest time, Seed time and harvest time, cold and winter, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. So prepare to sow great seed this year. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. You can read Second Corinthians chapter eight, uh, chapter nine, verses six to nine. Second Corinthians chapter nine, verses six to nine. He said, "This I say: He that sows sparingly shall also reap sparingly." He that sweat bountifully shall live bountifully. So great seed this year. In conclusion, because see, going forward will cause you to grow. That's just the, if you sow great seed, you will grow taller, you grow bigger, you grow wider. Every day you see yourself increasing in weight. You see many things will happen to you. Jesus grew. You know, he was strong. He was filled with wisdom. The Bible says the grace of God was upon his life. Luke chapter 2, verses 40 and verse 52. I wish you the best in Jesus' name. Finally, overcome, you know, opposition. When you see this man Isaac, he sold in that land. And despite the sowing, God helped him, God bless him. But there were opposition. The Bible said the Philistines envied him. They envied him. People may envy you. People may contend against it, but they can't stop it. When you sow your seed and you overcome op opposition, you will see that by the special grace of God, you are tending towards going forward. And when you go forward, there is nothing the enemy can do. They will not be able to stop you. Go and read Genesis 37 to Genesis 45. Study the life of Joseph. A young boy was being loved by his father, you know, was sold out by his uh, brother, they envied him. They were against him. He built up his morality, built up his integrity. They were unable to hinder him. He overcome all the temptation. Eventually, his dream came to pass. This year, your dream shall come to pass. This year, you will overcome every temptation. This year, as you are sowing great seed concerning your destiny, you will reap plentiful harvest in the name of Jesus. Your joy shall be full. The Lord will honor you. The Lord will empower you, and I will hear a good report concerning you in Jesus' name. Amen. 
God bless you. I will hear good news from you. In Jesus' name.